So it was one year ago that New Zealand entered its first and biggest COVID-19 lockdown. It lasted, I can't remember now, four weeks or six. I think it was four weeks at what we call level four and then two weeks at level three or maybe longer. It was a year ago now and I'm actually having trouble remembering. So for those of you outside of New Zealand, uh, level four means you basically don't go anywhere unless you're working in an essential job such as a supermarket or gas station, maybe trains, I can't remember if they were still around the run, but not much really, not much, and you were allowed outside to exercise, but even like you know, driving around to another neighbourhood just to have a bit of fun was, was frowned upon, you know, it was really just stay home and don't see anybody except that the people that you're living with they are they were called your bubble whether that be your family your spouse or in some cases just your cat it was unfortunate for me i lost my my cat just a couple of days before lockdown started uh, poor cat was hit by a car wasn't even two years old so I didn't have any cat during lockdown, but fortunately I had a friend who wanted to stay with me rather than be alone, and I was happy with that. So we were able to keep each other company. And you know, the biggest thing about that, that first lockdown, is everybody was pretty scared, whether they want to admit it or not because everything at that stage was just so uncertain. We heard all the horror stories on the news, what was happening overseas. You know, was that going to happen here? Were there going to be hundreds of people dying, you know? Our friends, our relatives, co-workers? Nobody knew. Uh, some of us, myself included, lost family members in other countries during that stage it ended up uh, for New Zealand the number of people who have died of COVID-19 have been I don't have the figures right in front of me uh, we've been pretty lucky compared to other com countries I was personally very fortunate that I work for a fairly large organization and I work in IT so I needed to continue working albeit from home uh, to help keep keep major systems running whereas a lot of people had to sit at home and did not have a job even if only temporarily so as I said before I'm, I'm actually very lucky in that regard but what I want to reflect on most is that I grew up living in a rural area And even though I, I would be in the in the town nearby most days for school for you know the, probably about the first half of my life I was in town pretty much every weekday. But where I lived, where I was in the evening and on the weekends and during holidays. Um, it was very quiet compared to town 
You can hear the occasional car on the highway nearby, but for the most part, uh, no, no, there's no street noises because there's no streets, no cars. It was peaceful, although I shouldn't say quiet. It was still quite noisy, but it was peaceful. I, sheep make a lot of noise, and so do cows. And then you've got all the birds. You've got your Canadian geese and spurwing plovers and pukikos. They they actually make quite a bit of noise, and even frogs. Uh, well, not just croaking, croaking and screaming, depending on on what's going on. Uh, so there was always, always sound, and of course the trees make a lot of noise too when the wind blows. Rain makes a lot of noise, you know, you get the point. There was always noise, but it was a very different sort of noise. It wasn't the same as the noise you get in town, which especially where I live now, I live on a on a main road, main street, and there's cars going past all the time. It's a very different sort of type of noise. And during our lockdown, there was almost no cars. And it went really, really quiet, obviously. And I'm not the only person that has noticed this, but when the cars stopped, you noticed a lot more bird noises. Now, I'm not, I don't think that the birds were necessarily making more noise. Maybe they were. But whatever the case, you could hear the birds. And when I would go for a walk in the neighbourhood where I live, the wind would blow and it was autumn. So there were big dry leaves on the ground. And the leaves would go skittering down the pavement in the wind and you could actually hear. You could hear the leaves hitting the pavement. And that may not sound like much, but it's a sound that you normally don't hear where I live because the the noise of the cars just drowns that out. And to some people, the relative silence, especially in the evening once the birds had piped down, might have been a bit spooky to some people. But to me... It was more like being at home. And despite what was going on in the world, it was really peaceful. When the lockdown level was lifted to level three, meaning people could get some semblance of relatively normal life going again, of course, all the vehicles started and even though it was a great reduction from normal levels, um, it was quite noticeable straight away, all the extra traffic. And when I noticed that, I realised that I never want to, we don't want to, to have to live through that sort of lockdown again, but I really did miss the peace and quiet 